News is circulating that many former and current employees of OpenAI have released an open letter claiming that the company is being silenced about AI safety issues. Daniel Kokotajlo, a former OpenAI governance researcher, told the New York Times, there's a 70% chance AI could catastrophically harm humanity. Kokotajlo joined OpenAI in 2022 and predicted AGI by 2027, but was quite unsure what would happen next if the necessary security measures are not implemented. Thus, he urged CEO Sam Altman to focus on safe but felt his concerns were ignored, leading him to resign in April. Now, if it seems normal to you, think again, because he's not the only employee who thinks this way. Ilya Sutskever, the ex-chief scientist of OpenAI, also left the company. Ilya played a significant role in developing some of OpenAI's most important projects, including the creation of ChatGPT. His departure, especially now that the company is well known and raking in significant profits, raises red flags that something is definitely wrong. When the interviewer asked Mira Marathi, the CTO of OpenAI, where the data for training their AI video tool, Sora, came from, her response was somewhat unclear and odd. She said, publicly available data and license data. So videos on YouTube? I'm actually not sure about that. OK. Videos from Facebook, Instagram? You know, if they were publicly available, um, available, yeah, publicly available to use, um, there might be the data, but um, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not confident about it. Now, of course, every company is competing with each other in the AI race, but that doesn't mean they can ignore safety as if they're playing with toys. There's no doubt that OpenAI is creating mind-blowing tools. However, as OpenAI continues to lead, other companies like Anthropic and Google's DeepMind are also jumping on the bandwagon and starting to overlook safety measures. Because let's be honest, we all use ChatGPT and expect it to answer every question we have, no matter how rubbish, weird, or scary. We don't even double check the answers it gives. A group of researchers argues that the technology could be misused to exacerbate existing inequalities, manipulate information, and spread disinformation, and even the loss of control of autonomous AI systems potentially resulting in human extinction. Jeffrey Hinton, often referred to as the godfather of AI, has spent his career teaching computers to learn through neural networks and deep learning. He thinks AI could eventually become better than human intelligence, raising fears about the control and ethical implications of such advanced technology. If you're curious about his thoughts and why he's warning us all, then watch this video on the card where we've explained everything from start to finish. Right now, it seems like every big company is focused on chasing profits. The more money they make, the better and more advanced things they can build next. But this profit-driven approach often means that safety takes a back seat. Meanwhile, AI, which operates without emotions, makes decisions based purely on data. Big companies are now entrusting our data to these emotionless AIs, which raises some serious concerns. For instance, while AI can efficiently process and analyze vast amounts of data, it doesn't consider the ethical implications or the emotional aspects of its actions. This could lead to decisions that prioritize efficiency and profit over people's well-being and safety. Visionary Elon Musk also talked about this issue, he said. AI doesn't have to be evil to destroy humanity. If AI has a goal and humanity just happens to be in the way, it will destroy humanity as a matter of course without even thinking about it. No hard feelings. It's just like if we're building a road and an anthill happens to be in the way, we don't hate ants. We're just building a road. And so goodbye anthill. Other than this, in an interview when the interviewer asked about the destructive potential of AI, Elon Musk replied something like this. Couldn't AI, even in this moment, just with the technology that we have before us, be used in some fairly destructive ways? You can make a swarm of assassin drones for very little money by just taking the, the, the Face ID chip that's used in cell phones and uh, having a small explosive charge and a, and a standard drone and have them just do a grid sweep of the building until they find the person they're looking for, ram into them and, ex and explode. You can do that right now. No extra, no new technology is needed. 
But now, the question that keeps popping into my head is, why is everyone quiet? It's important to note that the machines we've built to protect us can suddenly turn against us. They might become confused and perceive us as enemies, leading to unintended harm. Machines like drones or defense systems, if they go rogue, could cause immense damage. Imagine if they gain autonomy and start making decisions without human control. They could initiate wars or deploy deadly diseases, potentially wiping out entire cities. Well, what do you think? Share your views and don't forget to watch these videos on your screen to stay updated.